Hi, it's Leone from Frogfish Cards. Today I'm going to bring you a card that I have made with the detailed floral thinlets. They are a reversible die. So normally um, when you cut out a die, uh, metal die, to give you a flower or a bird or a <clears throat> butterfly or many different types of things. It cuts out the outlining shape and you can attach it to your cards. This is a reversible die so it cuts out a pattern from your cardstock so that you can either leave it transparent so that you can look through it like a screen or you can attach it to cardstock and show this beautiful uh, floral pattern in regards to this one. So this is what I'm bringing you today and this is a wedding card. So in order to do this you are going to require a piece of I'm using Sweet sugar plum, and that's four and one eighth of an inch by twelve inches. A piece of dapper demon, and that's four and a quarter by ten and a half inches. And a piece of very vanilla, and that's three and three quarters by four and a half. And in the sample, I have used delightfully Dujon and Knight of Navy. And again, very vanilla in the middle. Okay. So how this works is we're going to start with the dapper denim. And big shot. <clears throat> and it's really good if you've got the magnetic plate. If you don't have the magnetic plate, don't panic. Just make sure you tape everything, um, otherwise your dies will move and it won't cut true and straight. So you want to make sure that you have an even distance, I hope you can see this, you have an even distance between the edge of the die and your cardstock. So in this instance, I have one eighth of an inch either side of that die. Then you're going to place your little capping piece on, making sure that you have a nice one eighth of a gap around the top of that scalloped top piece. And then you're placing on your top plate now when you're cutting with a magnetic plate, which is what we have here, you put your cutting plate down, which I have not done, so you put your cutting plate down and then you place your cardstock onto the plate and you then place your thinlets onto the cardstock with the flat side up so that the cutting side is going down towards the cardboard. Then you put your non-cutting plate on top and run it through the big shot. So we're doing the big panel at one end. So this is the big panel. We're done doing that at one end. Then we are doing the smaller panel. So just turn your cardstock around and we're placing the smaller panel at the other end. And again, you're placing the little scalloped edge, making sure that you have a nice gap between the patterned die and the scalloped edge. You want to have a nice even gap. And 
try and get it as close to the edge of your cardstock as possible with your scalloped edge. Not that close that you're not going to have a nice scalloped edge, but close enough so that you're not wasting too much of the length of your cardstock. And again, we're just placing our plate on top and rolling it through with a big shot. And it cuts out that beautiful pattern. And I've hardly cut any cardstock off the top of the edge of that dapper demi. Then you need to make sure that you've cleaned out your die and it doesn't have any residue of cardstock in there. You also want to keep these little star flowers. I'll just move this off so you can see. These little star flowers. So you should have six in the dapper demon and we'll have one in the sweet sugar plum. Just put them to one side because we're going to use them in the internal workings of the card. Next step is to place the two floral patterned dies onto your back section of your card. So facing them off from each other and just making sure that you have a nice even space either side, which is one eighth of an inch either side if you go by my measurements, and quarter of an inch between the front panel and the back panel. So there's quarter of an inch from where the die has already cut to where the new cut's going to begin and from where the new cut begins to where the die has already cut. Then you're running it through your big shot. You're not using the scalloped edge in this process. just cutting one end only, one end only. Again, it's one eighth of an inch either side of your die. And your scalloped and we're doing this to one edge only not both on this one just one and running that through the cuddle bug So why I have the cuddle bug on the desk, I'm going to do the next um, process, which is with floral affections embossing folder. This is the one with the two lays on it. We're going to decorate our very vanilla. So I need, in order to do that, I need to change from the meta, to the from the metallic plate to the normal base plate without the shim. So.
placing it without the shim or the, the thinner plate. You do not want to put this plate underneath as well, otherwise you will not get um, your embossing holder through the big shot. So then we are evenly spacing the cardstock with that lay to the edge of the embossing folder, placing it on placing it on the big shot and only running it through halfway. So just after it feels like it's grabbed, you want to give it a little bit more of a push and then come back through. You don't want to roll it all the way through because then you'll have the beginning of the lay where you don't want it to be. So then you're placing the cardstock on the opposite side of the embossing folder. Again, making sure that it's evenly spaced from the end of the lay. You want to have an even space. And placing it on the big shot and running it through. And as soon as it grabs, just a little bit more of a push, that's about halfway, and removing it from the big shot and you'll have this lovely decorative lay at either end of your cardstock. So remember I said to keep your little star flowers, you should have one that one of the sweet sugar plum and six of the dapodemon. All the rest of the bits from the die cuttings can be thrown away. going to use the die brush. I love this tool. I can't say how much easier this has made my life. It removes 90% of the bits out of your die that you do not require. The one thing to remember with this particular tool is to not be too heavy handed with it. If you're too heavy handed with it, you will rip your cardstock and that's defeating the purpose. It's got very stiff bristles. You just need to run it backwards and forwards and I sometimes turn it over and it pushes those bits out that are a bit stubborn. So you're just running it backwards and forwards until it takes out everything that you don't require. And you will have the odd little bit that you have to still prick out with a pricker, but 90% of the pieces will just pop out with this little brush. It's such a good tool. So I'm just going to do the which should become as well. And then I'll come back to you after I've pricked out those little bits that have just been a bit stubborn and continue with making the card. Okay, okay so now I have removed all the bits that are not supposed to be there. And we are going to attach our Dapper Demon 
to our sweet sugar plum. So I'm just going to use the thin pointed glue that it wants to be friendly towards me. So the thin pointed glue and I'm just going to go around the entire outside through those sections that I have left for where we are going to fold the card so that quarter of an inch section between the two floral panels on a couple of the bigger sections you don't want to have to go through the whole thing because there's lots of intricate little um, spaces all the way through this but there are some areas that are thicker than others so I just put a bit of a double of glue on those just to make sure it's going to adhere well to the sweet sugar plum cardstock. So placing the small, placing the small cut to the small cut, the small die cut to the small die cut, you want to place your dapper demon over the top of your sweet sugar plum and just pushing it down with a piece of tape and paper towel I find it absorbs any glue that might leak out from behind where you're trying to adhere it to the cardstock. Okay, so that it looks like that. Making sure you put the top back on your glue and so it doesn't dry within that tube and then you can't use it which would be most annoying and cleaning up any excess glue that I might have we are going to return to the big shop using the metallic base plate I am going to place the cardstock down with the edge that has not been scalloped and using that scalloped edge lining it up with the blue the dapper demon I'm going to cut this scalloped edge with the big shot
and it takes it off and just next we're going to score it and how I did this was I placed the cardstock on the scoring board I want to do that try and find the middle yeah try and find the middle and score through the middle section of that then turn it round and again finding the middle so placing that in a scoring channel finding the middle of that section scoring through there so that you end up with two scored lines through that quarter of an inch section. So then folding it and boning it it ends up looking like that. So then we're versed card into the centre of the card, which I will do after I have stamped it and inked the outside edge. So I'm using the verse that from floral phrases that says, may your love grow stronger and deeper and more beautiful with every passing year. And I'm using the Dapper Demon. So just tap, you don't want to over ink your ink verse because then it will look blurred. It's not very straight. Don't do what I did and make it crooked. <clears throat> and around the outside edge with the Dapper Demon, I'm just going to sponge it. Try and make yours nice and straight like my one is here, not like this sample here, which is not very nice. And we are going to glue that into the middle of the card. But I've ruined this card so much, I obviously accidentally stuck it on top of the ink pad without realising it. This will only ever be a sample. And the reason why I kept the little stars, flowers, is that I placed them on top of the flowers on the swag and then I just did like a little spray at the top here. So I'll just do that now. I'm just using your glue. It doesn't take much. A little dollop. And the tweezers. Making sure you have your round edge up, not your square edge.
and then just finishing it all off with a bit of bling. And that's what I did with the detailed floral thinlets. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.